can never ever find the right words and there's no way this is real life there's no telling you What's up guys, welcome back to show, welcome back to another video and today we're back in the garage and uh, I've been I've been kind of keeping a secret from you guys and I'm sorry about this. So I actually have some footage of what I actually got for the 435 and the 435 is just pretty much chilling right here because there's something right over there that I purchased that cost me nearly $2,000 for this car and um, you guys already probably saw from the thumbnail so no point in hiding. But anyway, let me just cut to the footage of us actually picking up this M4 interior. I finally found somebody selling the white leather on the M4. M4 interior, heated seats, Harman Kardon sound system interior. Like I need that back to fit in my car, my 435, and we found it guys. I'm super stoked. Let's hopefully go check it out. Hopefully it's in good shape. Complete in interior, door panels, rear seats, front seats, and center console. Not the cheapest thing in the world. Pretty hefty price of a couple cars I purchased, but definitely worth the 435, so uh, let's get it, let's get it. Guys, so I finally, I'm, I just got in the car, I got Seer, he's the homie, picking me up in his, in his ass truck. Yeah. So he's picking me up, and we're actually gonna go pick up these seats. These are my absolute dream seats, like I said upstairs, guys. Super excited, let's go ahead, check them out. Um, this video is being recorded, like, uh, probably like, a couple weeks before this video actually gets released mainly because i want to finish a 435 and then throw in these seats and then release them but i'm super hyped so yeah i don't think you've ever seen them uh, have you ever seen them for white seats i mean other than la that la trip yeah other okay than that, other than that oh my god guys I'm about to sit my booty in there i'm gonna diagnose that and then <laughs> what? Yeah, boy, what? <laughs> i'm super excited anyway we'll catch you we'll catch you guys when we actually get there guys check out those seats oh my god so apparently he's saying there were caro seats technically from the factory so that is insane. I'm hopefully we don't lose them on the highway. That would be insane. Anywho, we gotta go. We gotta go. So yeah, you just saw the previous day footage. We are back to the present and uh, basically got all the M4 interior here. We got all the door panels, center console, all the rear seats, front seats, all that good stuff. This is the Silverstone White. M4 seats, which is actually my dream color. I prefer these over the red. The red ones actually sell for slightly cheaper than these white ones. I, I feel like if we go ahead and go with these white seats to get some copper seat belts, it's actually gonna look insane inside of copper over here. So, and for those of you guys who don't know, I named I name this car copper because it just, it, it just suits. I think they call this Dakota leather. Guys, this thing feels like a baby's butt. It's so smooth. Shout out to Jonathan for also detailing the seats. It looks so good. The only thing is that this is slightly cracked right here, but this is a very common failure point. Other than that, these seats are immaculate. The driver's side does have a little bit of wear right here, but we'll go ahead and get that repaired. Hopefully we'll talk to L&D Solutions, see what they can do about that. We also got the rear seats. Of course, they're folding. These are also heated seats, so I do plan on doing a heated, heated seat conversion, which I'll be showing you guys hopefully down the road. And then we got the center console with the M1s. They move forward and back put my foot right here see forward back so that's kind of interesting these are the m4 door panels and if you guys don't know the difference up here it has real leather which is super nice this is a little bit more thicker which is super cool two-tone this is like a chrome black compared to uh non-chrome and then down here it also has an led strip which i wonder if it's a lot brighter than the ones on the 435 because the ones on the 435 is not bright you can't you can't even see it like not even at night you just can't even see it so maybe these are brighter and if these are brighter it's gonna be sick having ambient lighting and last but not least these door panels match my car perfectly because the rear ones are also Harman Kardon package so that's the reason I went with this interior it literally fits my car spec to the bare bone these are coupe seats they are M4 seats and uh, guys without further ado um, let's go ahead and throw this interior in and I do also want to tune the car to stage 2 in this video as well so without further ado let's start gutting the 435 guys the 435 is Filthy. We'll go ahead and detail it hopefully in a little bit. But here we go, guys. So this is how the interior looks right now. I'm gonna go ahead and take a few pictures for the thumbnail. But you guys can see copper steering wheel. I'll actually show you guys. I'll show you guys the other perspective. So anywho, beautiful copper steering wheel from Ozza. Um, but yeah, the seats they are sport, but um, they're not. But they're they're not M4. You know, they're nice, but they're not M4. So uh, I think that's my excuse to wanting to replace this whole interior. And the interior is in great shape, but this is how it looks before, and I just can't wait to see the black and the white tone with the M4 seats in here. Oh wait guys, we can't disconnect the battery just yet. We do have to remove all the bolts from the seats first because I need to be able to move them front and back to remove all these bolts. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, just move that back. 
Expose those bolts, get rid of those bolts, and then uh, we'll go ahead and disconnect the battery before we actually disconnect the seat. This is really exciting. I love doing conversions like this and seeing the before and after. This is gonna be really satisfying. I hope you guys enjoy. And also the seat belt are gonna be customly done here at LED Solutions across the street. So we're gonna hopefully have white seats with copper seat belts. This is gonna look absolutely insane, especially with the copper seal on the copper wrap. Oh my God, guys, this is like a dream come true. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get these seats out. All right guys, so I already got both seats out and uh, I already got the rear seats out. Don't mind the trunk mess. Uh, but yeah, I got everything out. I already removed the lower bolts to all the seat belts. What I like about the four series is the seat belts is mounted to the ground, not the seat. So while I'm waiting for them to actually do my seat belt, I can actually put in my door panels and my front seats. I pretty much get done with the whole front, even the center console. And then I just have to wait for them to finish the seat belts to do the rear seat and the rear door panels and the, the rear seat belts because that's all hooked up to the rear portion. But that means I can pretty much finish the whole front, which is super sick. Anywho, I don't know why there's a hot cheetah right there. We're gonna have to vacuum all this stuff out. I wish Jotha was here to detail this. By the way, shout out to Jotha for detailing the interior. This interior didn't look this good when I got it, so he did a great job. Shout out to him. His channel's gonna be linked down below if you guys wanna show him some love. Without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and see if I can remove those door panels and then remove those seat belts. So we finally got all four seat buckles out and the only thing that's inside the car is the center armrest. I'm gonna see if I can just remove that center armrest opposite of the whole center console, uh, mainly because I feel like if I just pushing these two tabs, this whole assembly should come out and that make life a whole lot easier. So I don't have to remove this entire portion right here. I don't know, I'm gonna try. I think the rest of the center console is the exact same. So why? I don't really need the rest of that. So we'll see, we'll see. Anywho, meantime, we got the whole interior out. Uh, I don't remove the gaskets and everything, but that is the full four series interior. So this is obviously gonna go up for sale I, I am never gonna need these seats and it's gonna take up a lot of space so if you guys need sports seats for the 435 black it's here in great shape the only flaw is on the driver's side right here just a little bit but every driver's side has a little bit of flaw just like those m4 seats i just picked up but everything else mint condition so if you guys need door panels seats anything hit me up i don't even care i'm gonna sell this like dummy cheap so Anyone needs an interior, hit me up. As long as you guys are able to come pick it up, I'll give you guys a good price. I'm gonna go ahead and pack up all these seatbelts in a bag, take it down to LED Solutions, and then get back here and get straight to work. We still gotta remove the door panels on both sides, and then start piecing together what we can for the meantime, just until they finish the seatbelts. Okay, right, so I got the seatbelts in there. While I'm waiting for LED Solutions to get back to me, I am gonna try to remove this center, this center armrest, but I don't wanna damage this just in case, you know, this isn't meant to be removed. So I'm gonna go ahead, remove this back plate, and try to remove this one. So if I can remove this one, then I know I can remove the other one. All right, guys, just spoke with Dennis. Uh, dropped off the, just dropped off the seatbelt. This is Dennis's M5, by the way. Super clean, white on red, perfect spec. So yeah, we just dropped off the seatbelts across the street. Let's go back to the shop and uh, figure out the whole center console situation. Because if we can do that, that would save us so much time. So let's just go ahead and try to try to get that done. Back at the shop. So the next thing I wanna do is these door panels, mainly because there's nothing connected to them. There's just the door and it's gonna be quick and easy. So before I actually do that, I actually do wanna vacuum up the interior. We got this center armrest in, which is super nice and neat. So that's awesome functions perfectly so uh we didn't even have to remove the whole center console which was perfect now i'm just gonna go ahead and vacuum all this vacuum that side it's a complete mess vacuum the rear and then we're gonna go ahead and remove these door panels so uh let's get to it
guys, and this door panel is in with the carbon fiber trim from Keys Motorsports. Guys, this looks insane. This is real leather. It looks absolutely gorgeous. This is the same material. This is different. This is different. This is different. The LEDs I'm hoping is different. I'm hoping it's brighter. But guys, this is looking a whole lot better than just black. Um, I have nothing against black. Black is my third favorite. I like red, I like white, then red, and then I like black. So black is my third favorite, but this is my first favorite. So this is just, oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. I love and the white and black accents. It looks gorgeous. Let's go ahead and do the other side as well real quick. Just like that guys, the second door panel is in. I love how the leather is like real leather. It feels so nice. Carbon fiber door handle. This is all looking beautiful. So now things that we can do while we wait for the seatbelt. Uh, we can go ahead and throw in the rear seats real quick. Just not the sides or the bottom because we have to put the door panel back on but we can at least put in the two center seats. And then we might be able to put at least the two front seats as well. All right, guys, we went ahead and got the rear seats in as well. So, uh, really come together. Let's go ahead and throw in the two front seats. We're gonna have to get the car some power, so I will get the, I mean, I will be getting the airbag light because all the seat buckles are unplugged. So, that's fine. At least I can get the two front seats in. So, let's go ahead and do that real quick. Guys, this seat looks so good. Anywho, I have a little problem. You guys can see that seatbelt tensioners are still on these seats. This seatbelt tensioner is blown. I don't know if you guys can see that. I just noticed. I have to pull the seat back out and fix that real quick. Guys, what the? What the hell? Did I just find the spare key inside of my seat? What? Guys, what? I just found the spare key inside of my seat. Like, I'm not even kidding. Now I have a spare key. It was inside. It was fallen into the seat by the previous... Oh, oh my god. Guys, I, my allergies are super bad right now, but I don't even care. I found the spare key inside of my seat. Um... So, I don't know if I told you guys, but every time I get in my car, it always says my battery is low on my key. And I've always replaced the battery, and like it keeps saying it's dying, but it works every time. And I'm assuming it's talking about the second key that was underneath my seat. And I just I just put a new battery in, and I don't know if you guys see here, but it works. So, these are the keys to my car, and oh my god. Basically, I spent I spent almost 2k on the seats, but I got about $500 back. So that's awesome because spare keys That's how much it costs to get a new one So I would have never known if I would have never taken these seats out. So God bless Anywho, I'm super excited, but uh, let's go ahead and just continue on with the the M4 seat installation. Oh my god All right, guys, so we just got the interior in for the front. The rear still needs some work because of the seat belts, but this is looking like goals. Hopefully, I'll put up a few pictures after this when I take a few, but check that out, guys. Oh, my gosh. This is my dream interior. Imagine with the copper seat belts to match the steering wheel. I mean, my steering wheel is kind of orange, and this is kind of copper. It's not all going to match exactly the same, but it should look really good. From a distance or from the exterior, you'll definitely catch the vibe of it, but this is so nice. Oh, my gosh. So goals with the carbon. Oh my god. Oh my lord. So a few issues that I'm having when I click these buttons right here, it's not doing anything. So that's one thing. This side, everything works. This side, when I go up, the seat goes down. And when I go down, the seat goes up. So 
Um, other than that, and the fact that none of these buttons are working back here, everything else functions just fine. Also, I wanna get this to work, so let me see if that actually already works. If not, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and check the wiring harness. Luckily, on the M4 seats, it came with the harnesses, you cut them off, so I'm gonna take them apart and figure out the pins, which ones are the same, which ones are not the same, and just go ahead and repin them. But yeah, guys, I'm super stoked. While I'm waiting for the seat belts, there's a couple more things I gotta do. First things first, I gotta go ahead and move all these things over to the new door panel. We have the two rear speakers, we have the the arm pullover mechanism, and then also the module for it. So we gotta move all this over to the new door panel. So let's go ahead and do that. Allergies have really got the best of me. I had to close both garage doors because, oh my God, it's so bad. Anywho, uh, this is the interior we haven't got in yet, and I can't put in any of this until I actually get the seatbelts from LND. They're still working on it. They're trying to do the same day turnaround for me, so I appreciate them so I can actually drive this home. Most of the interior is in there, though, and I'm really happy with it. It's just my voice. If you hear it's a little weird, again, allergies, forgive me. Meantime, all this interior is right here. I'm going to be keeping it for only a week just in case I need some parts off of anything, but I don't think I'm going to need anything. So if you guys need black interior, this is a complete black interior. You guys can convert beige into black or anything you guys want to do. This even has the sports package, Harman Kardon, the sound system package. So if you guys need this interior, let me know. I think I'm only going to be asking like $300. Like honestly, I spent about two grand on this interior, but I'm not expecting much out of this. These are sport as well. So if you guys are local and you got $300, it's yours, honest. Anywho, uh, meantime, while we're waiting, I got some gloves on. Let's get the car back in here. Some of you guys have been telling me that the transmission fluid is not 100% full, and I've been noticing that it's been skipping a little bit here and there, and hopefully I didn't damage anything. It's only been like a couple days now. Let me get the car back on the lift, get the car up to 40 degrees Celsius, go through all the gears, and keep the RPMs at, I think you guys said, keep the RPMs at 2,000 RPM for about 30 seconds, and then pump in new fluids while the car is actually on. So I'm gonna listen to exactly what you guys said. Let me just go ahead and back the car up here and then uh, get it on the lift. I just topped off the fluids on the transmission. Yes, yeah, so I'm just gonna go ahead and clean up right now and uh, kill some time until uh, we find out what happens. I'll keep y'all posted. All right, guys. A few hours later, we ended up getting our original seatbelts back because I got it. Because I got to go home. They close at five, and unfortunately, um, you know, I got to get home and. Uh, I need a seatbelt. So I went ahead and took the driver's one. We're gonna finish it by tomorrow. So unfortunately, I'm gonna have to conclude the video right now. I'm gonna have a part two to this video tomorrow morning. I just gotta make sure I get here early morning, get the seatbelts installed, and we'll also go stage two. So if you guys wanna see that, the new seatbelts and the car getting stage two, make sure to smash that like button. I wish I was trying to put it all in this video, but unfortunately, you know, it is what it is. They are very busy, and I'm just really happy they can do within the day or two. So hopefully we'll get done by tomorrow. Hopefully we get part two out. Interior is looking absolutely fire. If you guys are liking how, how this build is going, make sure to smash that like button. And I try to get the video out within a day or two. If you guys can get, if you guys can get this video to 1,500 likes, I get the video out tomorrow. If not, I get it out in two days. Just gives me a little bit of time to like rest and edit. But if you guys really want it, smash that like button. 1,500 likes and I don't care how I feel. I will get it out tomorrow for you guys. Anyway, I love y'all so much. I'm going to take this home and I'll see you guys first thing on part two. Without further ado, guys, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Oh, 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 oh,